So now we're gonna we're gonna I'm gonna show you a fill, pretty pretty simple fill, that you're gonna be able to put in while you're playing these beats that we've been learning so far. And I'll show you the fill and where it's gonna go. And I'm gonna first it starts off on the snare drum, and then I'm gonna do it from the snare to the tom, and from the snare to the first track to the floor tom. All it's all in the same space, same amount of time. And the thing about the way that I'm doing these drum fills is that both hands are even. They're, so I want the same dynamic out of both hands. And when it's on the snare drum, it'll be rim shots. So it'll be, it'll be like that. Not, it's a different sound, it's okay. But for this, we're going for power, we're going for noise. So I want you to first practice that. Just make sure you can get two even, both hands right and left. It's just one E and a two E and a. That's what we're gonna do around the drums. One more time. So the first one I'm gonna do on the snare drum, all rim shots, all same dynamic. It's one E and a two E and a one. And we're gonna accent with the kick and the crash, like we've been doing. But all we're gonna do is we're gonna throw that fill in before. So it's gonna be like this, right? Now, the next one is gonna, I'm gonna split that up between the snare and the first rack tom. Same thing, half of it's gonna be on this, half of it's gonna be on that. So it's gonna be like this. One E and a two E and a And you're not playing rim shots on the on the tom tom. Rim shots on the snare, going for the center of the drum on on uh, the fill that's on that drum. So it's again one more time. Again, try to get those as even and dynamics as you can. I'll do it slower this time. So if you want to see how it is slower. It's like this one, bam, bam, one. E, go. A little bit faster. Okay. Now, we're gonna do the same fill and we're gonna split it up between these three drums. It's gonna go from the snare to the rack to the first floor tom. Same thing, even. Even, it's gonna be like this. Two, three, four. All right, so there's two hits on this drum, two hits on this drum. One E and a, two E and a. Okay, now, uh, you're like, well, where is this fill gonna go, Chad? and it's gonna go while you're playing these different beats. So I'm gonna play the first beat and I'm gonna do just the snare drum, right? The and I'll show you how that's gonna work. It goes like this, ready? What I'm doing is when I, the first hit of the fill, I also hit the bass drum. So watch, it's playing on one and three.
Okay, so it starts at the beginning of the fill. You end with the kick drum on the crash. Um, that's a very, very common, very good fill to use. Um, now I'm going to try doing the second fill. Same beat. I'm going to do the second fill that I showed you. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, so try to keep those very even and dynamics together, hitting the snare drum obviously with the rim shots at this velocity, but playing the tom-tom as well, same velocity, and try to keep it even in time so it feels like it's just if you were playing the same beat, nothing would change, doesn't speed up or slow down, stays right in rhythm. Again, taping will really help, recording yourself to hear that, practice that. And now I'm going to do it the third way. Again, same fill between the two toms, OK? Same beat. Here we go. Now, I'm finishing up the fill, obviously, on this first floor tom. So my easiest crash is this one on the right. You could go over here, but, it, you know, like I've talked to before, the easiest way to get around the drum set so you're not reaching or doing anything, you know, that, that would, wouldn't help you keep time. It's more natural. I'm over here. I'm ending up over here. This crash is the one that I would want to hit. I mean, I could go... But I would play this one over here. Now, when you finish the crash, you want to come back to the hi-hat. Before, we were, we were playing with the, when, when I would hit the crash, I wouldn't come back on the two. It was keeping with the eighth notes, right? One and two and three and four. Now with this, when I'm, when I'm finishing up over to here, it would be really kind of difficult and wouldn't sound that natural if you came back and on the and on the hi-hat. So I would go and do the fill. When you end up on the one, the next time you come back to the hi-hat, it would be on the two, right? So. If you were playing it at a slow tempo, you could get back in time, but let me see, let me, for me, let me, let me see. But at a little bit quicker tempo, it makes sense to come back on the two. Now practice that because you have to be able to feel when you're coming in on the backbeat, right? Don't rush that. Remember to keep, just keep, keep thinking in time, keep everything moving. And that will sound really good. And I'm, I'm going to give you an example of what it sounds like when it's not all the way even between the toms and the snare drum. And this is something that, you know, doesn't happen overnight. you got to work on that. But listen to how it sounds. Here it is 
the, even on the snare drum, I'm going to just do it the, for the fill the first way. And then I'm going to show you how it sounds when it's not even. So here's the even way, right? All right, one more time. It's like a machine gun. Think machine gun. Now, if you're not thinking machine gun, you're like that. Yeah, you're right? Or one hand is, is heavier than the other, that would be the right hand. If the left hand is more accented, right? And you look retarded when you're doing it anyway. So, same thing on the toms. Listen how it sounds nice and even on the toms. I'll do the first fill with the tom, right? And concentrate on, on both those being the same, right? So it's... Here it is if the fill is more uneven, right? Where it's more heavy on one hand, this doesn't really sound that good. I'll do it on... on and, and as well, be careful when you're going and moving from your first rack to your, for your floor tom, because, you know, obviously you got a little more movement. Again, keep, keep, try to really keep those consistent. Now, or an uneven way would be like this. Where one hand is heavy. Should be, all right? So practice that. That's like really, you know, those drums will really sing well and they'll really cut. And when the other music is happening, you'll really notice it too as well. It, it'll just sound like a ba 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 boom boom mm, instead of ba da ba don't. It'll be ba, boom boom and it won't speak. So you need to really practice. If you're playing, you know, if you're playing a hard, playing a rock song or a funk song, Try to be consistent like that. Anytime around the drums, I find that it always, always really sounds better and works better. I'll give you some examples of, of the same length fill and different applications on the different drums. There's lots of different ways to cut that up. Ba 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 ba. Can go on any of the drums. You know, obviously it's good to end on that crash if you're going back into the beat. Um, there's 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 lots of different possibilities. Practice keeping it not only dynamically the same level, but also evenly in time. So when you go around, you know that's a that's a that's a, a spot where a lot of drummers rush or drag is when they're doing a fill. And the other thing is, breathe. When you breathe, sometimes people want to go do a drum fill, and, and the worst thing you can do is go <gasps> I used to do that. I used to be like, here comes a big fill. <gasps> like you're going underwater. Keep breathing. There's nothing worse for a drummer is when you stop breathing, as you cut off the oxygen to the blood, which work, makes your muscles work, 
keep just everything's the same. Just just keep playing, relax, keep breathing, boom. Don't okay? So just check and see if you're doing that, just to make sure. Because we don't want to call, you know, EMS and have you come out and clear. I was doing, I was practicing my fills and I was holding my breath and Johnny's purple. Okay, so <laughs> so we'll uh, uh you know again keep everything nice and even and right in time. <laughs> Um, okay, so now I'm going to play the three beats we've learned. I'm going to do combination of the fills. I'm going to do some crashes. I'm going to play just basically a combination of everything up to this point. We're going to review, and um, here we go. Ready? I got so carried away. I'm so sorry, but it's so much fun. All right, so that's the idea. Play those different tempos. Change the beat. Feel free to do different fills. Don't forget to end up with the crashes. Move your right hand around. Play on the, all the different drums. And just, you know what? Have fun with it. Da-da-da-da-da-da. -da 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 -da.